CompTIA can be useful to finding a job considering a bunch of employers listed in their job description. How useful is a CompTIA certification? It can be very useful. So look, all you guys got to do, let me go to my favorite website, Indeed. I'm going to look for a job right now together. Let's look up a city. Let's go with um, let's go with Atlanta. ATL, shouty, right? Let's go with Atlanta. Let's see what's cracking out there. All right, so we're just going to type uh, CompTIA as a key term here. So we in the A, ATL. Let's see what's cracking out here in the ATL. All right, so since my channel is all about people getting started in tech, we're going to go find us an entry-level job. So we got 23 options. Well, let's expand this out to 50 miles. Let's see what we get now. Uh, we got 30 jobs and I just have CompTIA listed. I didn't even put, I didn't even designate what certification. So anyways, let's go through. We got a help desk IT technician, $21.00. 85 cents an hour. I believe this. They want you to have a high school diploma or a GED. And then right there, they say A plus, net plus, or security plus certifications. That's just an entry level job. If you're a high school student or somebody in college, that might be the perfect job for you. Or, you know, even if you are a career switcher, that might be a good way for you to get started. We got a level one computer network technician. Um, it doesn't say how much they're paying, but they want you to be familiar with Windows x86, which is basically 64 bit systems, basically all Windows systems. But, uh, anyways, look. They want you to have Network Plus, Cloud Plus, and some Microsoft stuff, right? Let's find one that has a, a look at this. Let's go with ones that have salaries listed. All right, here's a job, forty to fifty thousand dollars a year. Support technician one. Let's get to the good stuff here. Look, they want you to have a high school diploma or a GED, A plus, Net plus, Security plus, CSENT, and um, some other stuff, right? I got a 17 year old son. My son's a senior in high school. This would be a great job for him coming straight out of high school, making forty to fifty thousand dollars a year, and all he got is a couple certs and a high school diploma. So I would venture to say that CompTIA is very useful. Now you do have people out there that like to put up arguments that CompTIA sucks or CompTIA is a waste of money. But I always tell people, man, go to Indeed. Just go to Indeed, man. And just punch in. Let's do another city. Let's, all right, let's just go with New York. All right. Let's see what's cracking up there in the Big Apple. All right. Here we go. The Big Apple. All right. Oh, let's, let's make sure we got our things. So let's, let's set this 50 miles entry level position. So we got 63 jobs popping up. All right. So let's look for the ones that, okay, here we go. Google IT support professional. They're paying 18 bucks an hour. All you got to do is have your A plus and a Google IT support certificate, right? Are you in there? Let's find us another one that has a salary posted on here. Here we go. An IT specialist, 50 to $60,000. This is out of New York. So that probably means uh, that's not a lot of money in New York terms. But, you know, for a high school, somebody coming straight out of high school, it might be decent money. Uh, this one says you got to have a bachelor's degree. I don't know how true that is, but that's what they put on there. And they want you to have Network Plus, A Plus, Apple Certified, CCNA. They just listed a whole bunch of random stuff on here. Reality is you probably just got to have your A Plus and your Network Plus. Let's go find one more. They even got a job working for TikTok. All you, whoa, what is this? All right, so let's see. This one is 109000 I know damn well this ain't no entry-level job. Let's see what this is going. Let's see what's going on here. I know damn well this ain't no entry-level job. Uh, Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. So, yeah. So all y'all that got excited because y'all saw this salary, you got to have at least six years working in IT, a computer science degree and some other stuff. So y'all ain't getting that job. <laughs> y'all ain't getting that job. I wonder why they got that listed in the entry level spot. They must have just checked the box and threw it up in there. Now, let's look at this one out in Brooklyn. Brooklyn in the house without a doubt. So this is fifty to $60,000 right here, right? Entry level. You got to have at least one year experience. Know a little something about office, active directory, uh, DNS. Look. All you got to have to do is have your A plus and your net plus cert and you up in there. So, yes, I would say CompTIA can be useful to finding a job considering a bunch of employers listed in their job descriptions as a prerequisite to applying for a lot of these jobs. So I would venture to say that it's probably important. Now, that doesn't mean that that's the only way you can get into IT, but for those y'all who know anything about my channel and my personal philosophy, I personally believe that that is the easiest way to get into IT.